I am resilient. I trust the movement. I negate the chaos. Uplift the negative. I'll show up at the table again and again and again. I'll close my mouth and learn to listen. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh. 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 These times are poignant. The winds have shifted. It's all we can do to stay uplifted. Pipelines through backyards, wolves howling out front. Yeah, I got my crew, but truth is what I want. Realigned and on point, power to the peaceful, prayers to the waters, women at the center, all vessels open to give and receive. Let's see the system brought down to its knees. Whoa, oh, oh. whoa, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, whoa, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. whoa, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, whoa, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. with these conifers. We're going to make a conifer infused oil. This is alpine fir and you just start by chopping these up fairly small into your jar and you fill your jar three-fourths full. You don't really want plant material sticking out of the oil because um, it can mold and get funky. I'm gonna be making a body oil, herbal infused body oil. These are not essential oils. Essential oils are something entirely different and we won't even be discussing those today. So anyway, you have your plant material in the jar, about three fourths full. And then you can decide which oil you want to use. Like I said, olive oil is very nice for salve making. I like avocado oil for body oiling. Just pop that off of there. And then you just pour that over the plant material, making sure you cover all of the plant material. We can just do that since we're going to use all of it. A breathable cloth. This is the important part. A lot of people cap the oils and then what happens then is stuff can get funky. This allows the oil to breathe but nothing to get in there like bacteria. And then you want to grab a rubber band Place the rubber band over the top like this and then you want to be sure to label it because a lot of times you think, oh, I'll remember that, but you don't. I like to label, date and label. Here is some, this is just a beautiful color. This is St. John's wort oil that I made last summer. See how I've dated it. And I also like to put what kind of oil it is here anyway this you can place this on a shelf out of direct sunlight and just the first few days of making the infusion you'll want to stir your oil and make sure the plant material is settling to the bottom especially if they're perishable like arnica or st john's wort flowers 
conifers are pretty forgiving. Anyway, you want to do that for the first few weeks and then after your oils have sat and the infusion period has taken place, however long you want that to be, that again is personal preference. After that, you strain your oils and you can bottle them, use them as body oil, you can mix them with beeswax, make a salve. Uh, I also use these herbal infused oils mixed with tallow in um, some of my soap making. So it's really endless, whatever, whatever you want to do. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Folk method of infusion. Herbal oil infusion. Again, I'm Dacia. And I'm Simply Josephine across the board, simplyjosephine.com. And I'm also on Instagram with the same name. So I'm wishing you all a great day. And hopefully you get out there with your basket, clippers, pick some conifers. Damn, and make this world was made for me, so 